So it's been a busy few weeks. Uh, as I've said before, I work as a teacher, so it's, you know, leading up to the, the end of school, there's been a lot to do, so I haven't really been able to come out and shoot much or really edit. Um, but I am out today, thankfully, and I am at the place where I thought that I perhaps found a badger den or fox den, uh, but doesn't seem like it's been disturbed since I was here last time so then probably not it's probably abandoned since long the video isn't even up yet now that I think about it I haven't had time to finish editing that one but that will be up soon enough but yeah I'm so glad today was actually the last day of school for the kids but yeah a lot a lot to do leading up to this you know planning for the for the last day as a music teacher, you know. You always have, you know, the celebratory things of ending school with music and everything. God damn the mosquitoes. Um, so I've had to plan a lot around that. And of course, I'm also the resident photographer or whatever you want to call it at school. Um, so when it comes to like the ninth graders, the graduating ninth graders that we have, um, when they have their prom and everything, I am, <laughs> God damn it. I am the photographer for that um, and we went on a school trip out to the Swedish archipelago, Nottara. So I also came along to that and photograph and document so they can have a, you know, memories after they leave school and, and the friends they've had and the experiences they've had. So done that and everything. But now it's over so I can relax a bit. I only have about a week left of work then I'll be on vacation finally. So out more to shoot and everything, and edit, 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 I need to edit more. But I'm actually happy now I got some, some more toys. So I bought, for example, this camouflage blanket from Tregopan. So I'll be hiding a bit more and I also bought a tent from them as well. Uh, so I'll be using that as well and also staying overnight in that to see if I can get some early dawn shots. And I also have a, a gimbal head now, I got that so it'd be easier to perhaps do uh, pan and follow shots with the animals when I use my telephoto lens instead of the ball head that I had before. So it's going to be fun to go out and shoot a bit more now that I have more free time and less stressful. I'm going to be less stressed about everything. Today I'm going to go up soon to um, my usual spot see and hide there to see what I can find because hopefully the deer will, will have given birth by now so we can see the tiny babies with their mothers uh, but that we'll see what we can find you know never any guarantees of course uh, but I'll just look around a bit more in this area once again to see if there is actually any traces of any animals and after that I'll make my way up there I looked at the weather forecast before coming out here and it wasn't supposed to rain in this area but I'm, I'm, I'm trenched. It just started pouring down. I was not ready for that. Oh, God damn it. But on my walk over here now, I, I am behind, be behind the trees here. It's the field that I usually sit so I'm gonna go and place myself there soon. But, oh God. Um, on my way, on my walk over here actually, one of the locals, the guy who lives right beneath the field that I'm, here that I'm usually sitting, he stopped me and said he's seen me in the area quite a few times, so he wanted to chat a bit, uh, which was very nice and very helpful. So he he gave me some tips about the area, of course, because he said that he's lived here for 30 years. So he, he pretty much knows this area and the forests. So he's given me like general directional tips uh, of areas to look for the fox dens uh, and he told me about some other animals that live in the area as well so I'll see if I'll be able one day to catch them as well like boars and moose and stuff like that but we'll see oh god damn it I'm wet but I'm gonna go and 
try to place myself somewhere over here at a good spot, camouflage myself to see if any deer want to come out tonight here. Hopefully I'll get something now because otherwise getting all drenched and wet for nothing, not as much fun. But yeah, hopefully I'm gonna go over there right now and set myself up. And after rain comes sunshine, as you can see now, the weather is quite beautiful. Uh, so I'm gonna see if I can catch something now on this field and wear this over me and the camera, of course, to blend in with the grass and everything behind me. Uh, hopefully something will walk out here on this canola field during this beautiful weather. I'll be here for a couple of hours uh, until the last bus home, but we'll see, only time will tell. So, the uh, one time now that I decided to stand up a little bit, uh, no, I uh, stand up and stretch because I was starting to get stiff and it started to hurt a little bit, a roe deer walks out over there and mid-stretch he sees me of course and gets scared and runs off. And it was a male roe, roe deer with antlers so it would have been perfect to have him stand here in the canola field probably would have looked really good. Uh, so bad luck there. Uh, but I'll, I'll probably now stand up the last 40 minutes before the bus comes just to stretch a little bit and start. Uh, um, yeah, and just stretch a little bit so it won't hurt as much from sitting for so long. But hopefully Hopefully, hopefully, I'll just get a teeny bit lucky here at the end, but yeah, we'll see. 